everyone. So for those of you that are having this problem, support for password authentication was removed on August 13, 2021. So what has happened here? So after this date, uh, GitHub has decided to not allow the password authentication. So you will need a token. So if here, it also gives you a link to uh, some uh, documentation here. It says that you'll need to create a token in order for, for you to uh, be able to, let's say, clone the projects or push to the projects. Okay, so let me just go here and let us say that I have this I have this project here, right? Uh, let me just go here to backend and I want to clone this project to my computer. So I'm going to go to code and then I'm going to copy the link. So if I want to clone the project to my computer, first of all, I have to make sure that I go to the specified folder. I want to have my project under my Eclipse workspace. So I'm talking about this folder here on the right. And then here I want to clone this project. So I say git clone, and then I just put the link. So it is trying to clone the project. As you can see here, the folder was created, right? The folder was created here, but it is asking for authentication. So I'm going to put my username, Neotech Academy. And then I will try with my password, right? I'm just going to put my password here and I'm going to press enter. So now I get this message saying that it's not allowed to log in with a password. So you need to create a token and then use the token. So as you can see, the, the folder was removed from here. So what do you need to do? You need to go to your account, guys. And then on your account here, you just have to go to uh, settings. Under settings, you scroll down to developer settings. And then here you have this personal token access. And then you can click on the second one, which says token classic here. And then here you just will need to generate a new token. So I have already some other tokens here, but I'm going to generate a new one. So let me just say generate token. And then I'm going to say here uh, the classic version. So when you generate the token, you need to put a name for the token. You can say here, uh, Elion, right? Uh, Elion MacBook, right? MacBook, whatever. So you need a token and then the expiration date. So you can say it will expire in 30 days, then you'll have to do it this one again in 30 days. Or you can say, you know what? No expiration, even though this is not, they don't suggest it, but I, I can do this one. And then you can give permissions, right? With this token, what you're going to be able to do in your repositories. Only this one is enough, but if you want, you can go and check all of them, right? But only giving this is enough, right? Is enough for you to be able to create the repositories and do everything with the repositories. So after you're done with this one, or if you want, you can check all of them and just say generate token. So a token will be generated, but just make sure that you copy this token. Otherwise, otherwise it will be lost. So you can copy this one and then, I don't know, you can also save it into a file, but also you can just, uh, just do it one time. So my token has been created, right? And then if I go to the Mac here again, I'm gonna say now, of course, make sure that you don't lose the token, right? So it's here. And then, as I said, I'm gonna go back to my repositories. I'm going to go to my, my repositories again. And then I want to clone this repository. So let me copy the link. So how do I clone? I say git clone. And in the folder that I'm right now under Eclipse workspace, it will be, try, I'll try to clone this project. So now the folder has started, like has been created. Now what I'll do, I'll do the next steps. So I need the username, Neotech Academy. And then I will also need the password. As I said, we shouldn't use the password. You should use that token that has been just generated. So let me copy from here and let me just paste it here. So paste the token and then press enter. So now I have permission, right? As you can see now, the project has been created here. And then, right, I was able to like clone the project and I have everything here. Okay, guys. So hope that this one helped. And, and of course, what is the next steps? You're going to go to your Eclipse. And then now the, the, the project has been copy it into your computer. What you need to do, you need to open it in your Eclipse. You're going to go to the Eclipse, make sure that you go under file, import, and then you can locate the, the project wherever it is. So let me browse in my computers under Limani, Eclipse workspace, and then back and forth. And then you can just open the project and then just finish. And then after that, you're going to be working on that project. Here it is open on, on your Eclipse. Okay. Okay. Hope that this one helped. Have a good one. Bye-bye.